one of my bottom line things is stay on the path. No matter what's going on, stay on the path. You know, this is not so easy. Most people, I watched a lot of people come and go. You know, I came and went myself. You know, but I did, I waited until my guru, Ma, mother was my guru in the physical at this time. Uh, Akhenat and her husband, Mark Prophet, was my guru in a former time. I mean, but she told me, okay, now go do it. So that meant it was time to leave staff. So what it amounts to was, did I stay with the work? Not how much did I accomplish today, but did I stay with the work? So the most important thing that you can do is keep this in your consciousness and let it work as it can. Don't go into fear and doubt about, oh, I'm not doing enough. Don't go into negative thinking because negative, negative thinking attracts negative thinking. I've always felt that if you've got something in your consciousness you don't like, replace it with something you can enjoy. We're not meant to be unhappy here. That's not really the plan. And ultimately the whole of, of humanity is on the wrong track. And they're being led down the garden path by the fallen ones who prefer to steal their energy by putting them on on all these really important things that we need to do, you know. Ultimately, if you just go and do the I am take command three times and you do some violet flame three times, four times, however much you have time for every day for a while, and just know that eventually you'll see that it's working. You will see it. When it's effective, you'll know it. Do I know it? Well, one of the things people ask me, how do you know you're channeling? Well, I have the confidence to know that. And I also have some training. So what I'm saying is there's nothing unique about channeling the higher self. Everyone is supposed to do it. In, in Lemurian times, we were all in contact with our higher selves. And we were in contact with angels and, and ascended masters. There wasn't any separation. That was a false creation. And it still remains. So ultimately, place your attention on what you want to become, not on what's keeping you from getting there. Uh, obviously, if, if something comes up and you say, this keeps coming up, you have to deal with it. You have to think, well, is this, it's either one of two things. It's either something I have to learn or it's something that's getting in my way. It took me a while to realize that I have to be here now. This isn't what I, what I want to do, but obviously I'm going to be here until I'm not. And I had a sense that, you know, whatever it was that I was dealing with, I was going to have to deal with it the way it wanted to be dealt with, not necessarily the way I wanted to deal with it. And I think finally, I came to peace with that. But it was difficult. So the hardest thing for me was not doing. And sometimes we have to learn how, how to listen. And it's, it's really hard to listen. I know we can listen to our higher self individually. One of the things that we teach, and this is the main thing that we teach, is that you can do this all yourself. You have to do it all yourself. Everyone has to do this yourself. But there are keys to it. The decrees are a key. The affirmations, the ideas, the uh, constantly re referring yourself to something that you know is the genuine teaching. When I, when I need a charge, so to speak, what do I do? I go find a book that I know this is the real thing, and I, I read the Ascended Masters for a few minutes, and I recognize them, and I feel them in the teaching, and I feel it, and it takes me right up to where it is. So, you know, the whole idea of using consciousness to raise consciousness. If we go to where the teaching is, if we go through reading or however, through decreeing, like I said, I would do Astraea's 
for three hours sometimes. When I'd get done, my whole head would be buzzing. I know I was somewhere that I didn't start out. I know that. There was absolutely no, no guesswork there. But I'm not saying that we have that time. I devote 100% of my time to this, and I have for years. And that's why I'm saying that you can do it three, four times a day, but you have to be consistent. Wait till you know exactly what you're doing and then repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. And never, never question, don't question it. Like one of the worst things to do about this is question it. I mean, in a sense, we have to, we have to use discrimination. I'm not talking about discrimination here. The higher, higher self, see the higher self is called the still small voice because it's still small. And we have to give the higher self confidence that we're listening. So how do we do that? We continually call to it. We say, I am, take command. And eventually if we continually call to it, it gets a little bolder. It says, okay, I'm starting to believe you. Now I'm going to tell you something you don't want to hear. Oh, <laughs> or I'm going to tell you something that may change everything for you. And I want to see what you'll do. Like they told me I had to leave town, move to, move to Sedona. Well, I didn't, I'd never even heard of Sedona. Were they right? Yep, they were right. Did I know for sure? No, but I had enough track record with them to say, well, it's probably a good idea. I think I'll try it. And I said, I don't make any guarantees, but I'm gonna try this. So I'm, I'm encouraging my higher self to speak more openly to me. I'm saying, not my will, not my will. And then when I anticipate the fact that they are talking to me, then I, I listen and I say, now I have to act on what I'm hearing. If they keep telling you things, the masters or your higher self, and the masters only speak through your higher self. If they're telling me things and I'm ignoring them, pretty soon they just stop telling me. If they tell me something and I act on it, I get confirmation. If I don't act on it, I never get confirmation. Like they said I needed to go to Egypt, and I knew kind of why, but I knew I wasn't going to discover why I was going to Egypt till I went. So I went. And this is the case for all of us, is that we don't get the next increment of knowing until we act on what our higher self is trying to tell us. So learn to be more confident. The higher self is fearless. It doesn't worry about whether it's going to pay the bills or not. It doesn't worry about food on the table. It doesn't worry about relationships in the lower self. It doesn't worry about anything. It doesn't care if you cut off your head. It doesn't care about any of that stuff. So the higher self is not going to be a fearful thing. It's going to come in and say, do this, do that. And if you say, ooh, I don't know about that, you have to decide whether you're using discrimination or whether you're just backing down from your higher self. So that's all. That's what I recommend.